Kwa majina naitwa Mike Mbutu Munyasha, I'm the executive secretary Mwingi Nat branch. Today we've had a very sad day because uh, one of the great businessmen in Mwingi, one Roda, was ambushed and attacked in her business premises by the area MPs. A man whom we respect, a man whom we adore and look upon in terms of leadership. But I want to say it is quite saddening 
that a leader of his sort could storm into somebody's business, a private entity, and slap the woman. Look at her. She doesn't have, look at these marks. She doesn't have her, she's usually on her specs. The specs were broken. She doesn't have them. She was slapped. She was held in an, an uncouth manner. Her breasts were held, at which we want to condemn in the strongest terms. Yeah. And we don't want such kind, that kind of leader. <laughs> we want to warn him that he has been threatening people and telling them to ship out of Mwingi town. This is Kenya, where everyone has a, 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 a permission yes. to, to reside everywhere where he wants. Mm -hmm. And we want to tell the government that Mwingi is not safe with this kind of leadership. May every organ of uh, the Kenyan uh, um, government take charge. The security apparatus should provide security to the Mwingi re residents yeah. because of the hooliganism which is being perpetrated by this leader. Yes. Thank yes. you very much. You're not mimi nimefanya biashara hapa mwingi na kitui eh, wakati wa saa 4 na dakika 45 nilikuwa nimekaa kwa biashara yangu kazuri area mp gideon motoni mdunge akatia hapo na timu ya around 30 to 50 people akaingia tulikuwa hatumuoni akaingia kwa nguvu akasema amekuwa akisengenywa kwa hoteli yangu nafaa nimuelezee kwa nini anasengenywa na kuna kitu nimefanya so nikasimama then eh, watu wake walikuwa wanataka kueleza lakini hako nishika yeye ndiye amenisukuma na akanishika matiti na kavunja miwani yangu. So nikajaribu kumsukuma then akaangalia watu wake ndio wanichapa. But watu wake hawajaniguza. Yeye ndiye amechukua fimbo akiinua hivi kashikwa na mmoja wao. Hako nichapa. Polisi nime report kwa DCIO na nika andika P3 because uh, I believe uh, mwingi ni town ya kila mtu. Yes. Na kama wewe ni MP haimaanishi wewe ndio kiaras wanawake. Ndio. Kwa hiyo ni town iko na wanaume wengi anaweza pigana na wao. Kabisa kwa business yangu mm. ani attack kama mtu mm. kwa sababu anasengenywa. Na sijui anasengenywa nini. Mm. I don't know anasengenywa kwa nini anasengenywa mm. which I'm not even aware. Ana mwanamke ana mimi. Na siezi fukuza customers wangu wasiongee juu ya mlungi. Sasa mlungi kama hataki kuongelewa atengeneze maisha yake. Kabisa sio sisi tutamtengeneze ama fungua hotel Mm. aende akaange huko. Yeah. So number one, ameharibi mambo yangu kwa nini? Business yangu. Mm. Ameingiza hata waizi. Mm. Sijui amekuja na kina nani hapo. Mm. Of course tumeenda polisi and we hope is going to be taken mm. uh, to a father. Yeah. But now if they don't act definitely we are going to follow up because hii sio ya kwanza. Mm. Hii imekuwa kama kawaida. Mm. Ukiongea juu ya Mulungi unachapwa. Yes. Kuna watu wanalipanga yes, standby yeah. kwa kuchapa watu. Kuchapa watu. So we are being harassed. Even the government should the national government should intervene. Mtu mm. anafaa sikie hii. Mm. Atwezi kugula na mtu mmoja mm. just because is an MP. Kitu mm. tulimo elect. Ndio mwana kwa hiyo kitu. Atuje mwana kwa hiyo kitu atusumbue. Yes. Yaani imekuwa kama hataki kitu kaifanyike kama ifanyiki anatukana kila mtu. Mm. So I'm a woman and he has arrested me. Yes. I'm in Yaras. Nation ni kimwachia. Tunaenda mpaka mwisho. Kabisa. Ana tutaenda anasema kuna pesa mingi. Wacha tuzione sasa. Hizo zake za kupiga wanawake because he came straight to harass me. Yeah. Skola, kini kadri wa Mungu. Na nilikuwa kazuri hoteli ya kazuri ya subuhi nikikunywa chai na customers wengine. So nikaona MP Mulungi ameingia na watu wake. So mwenye kazuri akaamka akamwambia karibuni niingie kwa hotel. So mheshimiwa Mulungi akasema yeye amekuwa akisengenywa kazuri. So kwa nini anasengenyewa hapa? So mwenye kazuri akamwambia karibu mheshimiwa ni nini? So akajaribu kumshika matiti, akajaribu kumtoa mewani yake, akamgora hapa. So wakati tuliamka sisi tukaambia hao manguni wa Mulungi Hakuna maana ya kuleta kero wapi hoteli ya wenyewe. So tukawaambia watoke wao wako corporate. So Mulungi ndiye ameattack mwenye kazuri na hakuna guni yake imemshika. So tumeenda polisi tukapeleka mwenye kazuri kama customers wake na tumetoka hospitalini. So hiyo hatupona kama imekaa picha mzuri kushika mwanamke afanye vita na wanaume na achane na sisi tafadhali kabisa. Haikuja kuwa mara ya kwanza tunamuhusii tu achane na sisi na yeye ndiye fight na wanaume wenzake kama mheshimiwa.